Welcome to Generation Ship and the way to Proxima Centauri is very long and it starts with character creation. And let's start with the stats. So we have Strength, Constitution, Dexterity, Perception, Intelligence and Charisma. The maximum level you can increase your skill is 10, but in game you will find implants and they will allow you to increase your stats to 11, give you additional plus 1. It applies to every check except constitution and charisma. 10 is the maximum for these stats and there are another very interesting thing connected to these stats. In the beginning of the game, if you increase your stat to 10, you will be able to choose a heroic feats, and you can choose them only at the beginning of the game, only on this character creation screen, and they are really very powerful, so I strongly suggest you to choose one stat, for example intelligence, and increase it to 10 to get that perfect skill. Mastermind, Juggernaut, Healing Factor, oh, they are all so amazing. The game itself is pretty hard and these heroic feats will help you a lot, really a lot. Don't miss them. And guys, if you find my guide helpful, don't forget to like it, it really helps a lot. And let's move on. The first stats is a strength and constitution, and everything is pretty simple here. It will increase your melee damage, reduce armor wearing penalty, increase accuracy of a double shots, give you more hit points, and increase constitution will increase your maximum implants. How many implants you will have? Very, very useful. But, but, if you increase some stats like, let's do it with constitution, to 10 you will have a feat, healing factor, very powerful feat, it increases regeneration plus 3 during the battle, during battle, it's amazing, very, very, very useful. And another strength will just make you powerful in melee combat, so if you choose to be a melee fighter, increase 10 and choose Juggernaut. Dexterity and Perception is more for stealth kind of players and for shooting, and it gives you action point, invasion, initiative reaction and increase your accuracy. And we have a very interesting heroic feat, dodge this, it's just incredible, look at that stats. So if you're planning to play a stealth kind of character, invest in this. And now we have intelligence and charisma, my favorite stats. They will increase your skills development, give you some additional experience, and charisma actually is not that good cause it increases your max followers and maximum you can have 3 followers. So far there are not many followers in this game, but it's early access, maybe they will add more, but it's not worth spending a lot of points in Charisma. It will make your companions stronger, gain more experience, but it's not that important. But intelligence, oh, intelligence is very important. Faster you gain a level, tougher you become. And the game will become easier. And intelligence can give you a mastermind heroic feats. My favorite. I will play as a scientist kind of character. And I really want to know which role do you prefer, maybe you are a brutal fighter, a sneaky ninja, or something else, tell me in comment section, I really want to know. Ok, now skills, the more you use certain skill, faster it will develop, melee skills. Choose any skills you like, there are no strong advantages or disadvantages. Range skills, yes, 
pistols is not that good in this game, believe me. You will use a shotgun or a rifle. Of course, you can use a SMG, but the ammo is very expensive and they miss a lot, really a lot. So if you choose range fighter, better focus on shotgun or rifle. Now combat skills. Critical strike is important for everyone in every situation, so as evasion. And armor is also very important, but, but, don't put points in armor. Cause you will wear armor in every combat and it's much easier to upgrade and to progress the skill. It will develop by itself. Evasion is very hard to develop, so better put a skill into evasion. Science. Every skill here is very useful. This is a passive skills. For example, Biotech will allow you to extract implants from bodies and make your healing more powerful. But you will not find a lot of implants in this game. And from the other hand, implants are very, very expensive. So. I don't know, you will have to choose these skills by yourself. Now, speech. Speech is not that important in this game, cause there will always be an option to somehow resolve the conversation in a good or bad way. Also, decide by yourself. And now stealth. Stealth is very important in this game. Sometimes combat result will depend only on stealth. And look at this. Lock picking. <laughs> Unreplaceable. Steal. Yes, you can steal so many things. Medikits, implants. Oh, you should take it and sneak. Also very important. So if you try to play a stealthy kind of character, choose every, every point in this tree. Now feats. I already tell you about heroic feats and of course you can choose gifted, but it's not good enough. It's always better to choose some of these skills, of heroic feats, cause you can choose them only in character creation screen and all other feats you will be able to choose during the game. But if you don't want to take heroic feats, there will be some very good feats. And I advise you to take this feat, educated. Because it gives you more experience and one additional skill. It's very useful, especially at the beginning of the game. Everything else is strongly depends on the character you want to play in this game. Be it a ninja, a brutal fighter, a scientist, hacker, any role. Just play a role and choose a skill according to this role. So friends, I hope my guide helped you to create a character you want and if it do, don't forget to like this video and especially subscribe to my channel, cause I plan to do a lot of videos about this game and don't miss them. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video.